Hey everybody, how you doing? Today in this video, we're doing a water jug test. If you've been around any time at all, you know I love catching bullets in the water jugs. We've got over 20 some videos between rifles and pistols where we catch bullets in the water jugs to check expansion, stuff like that. I really enjoy it. In this video, we are shooting a 357 Magnum versus a 44 Magnum to see how many water jugs it takes to stop the bullet and then also to look a little bit at the expanded bullet let's take a little bit closer look at the guns and the ammo we're using in this video then we'll get to shooting the 44 magnum we're shooting in this video is a very very nice ruger red hawk the ammo that we're shooting is some 240 grain jacketed hollow points the 357 we we're shooting is a Taurus Model 66, which is a seven shot revolver. And we're shooting some 150 grain jacketed hollow points. Exact same ammo as the 44 Magnum. Let's go get set up and do some shooting. See if we can catch those bullets. Put down in the comments down below how many jugs you think it'll take for the 357 and then for the 44. I'm gonna go ahead and say three jugs each they're gonna tie three each and we'll see what happens all right i've got 12 water jugs back behind me we're gonna shoot the 357 magnum first and those 150 grain jacketed hollow points these bullets do not expand very well from my experience so i'm thinking it may act kind of like a full metal jacket and we might have trouble catching them but we're about to find out Let's go shoot the 357, see what happens. Looks like the first two jugs flew off the table and there's water pouring out of some more. Let's go see if we can figure out what happened there. Walking up to the table, the first two jugs are on the ground there, one, two. This is jug number three, and there's definitely a hole in the front. There's definitely a hole in the back there. We'll set that aside. Jug number four, there's definitely a hole in the front. It looks like we're still traveling down the center, so that's good. Now, is there a hole out the back? I do not see a hole in the back. And I don't see one on the front of number five so I'm hoping and praying that the bullet is here at number four or it could have stayed at number three and just punched a hole but let's start with number four see if we see anything looking down inside number four I do not see a bullet that makes me want to believe that the bullet stayed in number three and had just enough energy to punch a hole in that one so let's take a look at number three and ha ha there's that bullet in there looks like the jacket fell off of it but the jacket and the bullet are down in there so for the 357 magnum the bullet stopped in the third jug let's see if we can pour it out here without spilling everything there is that 357 magnum and the jacket that split open there it must have heard me talking about not expanding very well and wanted to act right for us for this video. So there you have it. There's that 357 Magnum and we caught it in the third jug. Three water jugs for that 357 Magnum. Let's go shoot that 44 Magnum. It's the exact same type of bullet out of the 44 Magnum, but it's a 240 grain and it's 44 Magnum. So three for the 357. Let's go shoot the 44, see what happens. All right, now we're gonna shoot this Ruger Red Hawk in 44 Magnum with those 240 grain jacketed hollow points. See if we can catch that bullet. And we've got nine jugs on the table this time, so hopefully we don't need more than nine jugs if three stopped at 357, but we'll see what happens. yet 
Well, let's go find out and see if we caught that bullet. I'm really hoping we caught that bullet because I'm running low on water jugs. Let's check it out and see what happened. There's one, two on the ground. And then up at the table, jug number three, hole in the front. Still got a hole in the back there. Jug number four, hole still in the center. That's a good sign. Exit hole still center-ish. That's a good sign. Jug number five, still has a lot of water. Hole in the front, but no hole in the back. And I don't see any marks on jug number six, so I am thinking that we caught that 44 Magnum. Ah, yep, and I think I see the shadow of it right there, if you guys can see that. So let's pour this one out and see if we can get that bullet. Pouring out jug number five here. There's that 44 Magnum. It didn't expand a crazy amount, but it did expand and the jacket actually stayed with the 44 Magnum. There's a view from the back of it. And we caught it in the fifth jug there. Pretty cool. And there is a quick view of those side by side, the 357 on the left and the 44 Magnum on the right. What's interesting is the 357 Magnum expanded to almost the size of the 44. We caught the 357 Magnum in three water jugs. We caught the 44 Magnum in five water jugs. So. 44 Magnum is definitely more powerful than the 357, and that 44 was a shorter barrel than the 357 too. But thanks for watching the video, guys. A big thanks to my buddy Jeff, and a huge thanks and shout out to Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors for all their support. If you haven't already, go subscribe to the Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors channel too. Don't forget to check the description down below. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. We'll catch you on the next video. Hootie Hoo!